Hi, this is Heidi. I own the store, The Lesson Pony, and Teachers Pay Teacher. This is Madel, my German Shepherd, and today's lesson has to do with blue-green algae. Blue-green algae, according to many scientists, is the oldest plant form, basically the oldest form on life. In the early Earth, the planet's atmosphere was filled with carbon dioxide. Blue-green blue algae was able, by the process of photosynthesis, to change the carbon dioxide into oxygen. Over the past few years, many scientists now think, due to global warming, blue-green algae is becoming more and more a danger to humans and to, to pets. This is why we have Miss Madel today. Blue-green algae is found a lot in fresh swimming areas. In the second part of this segment, I am going to show you how to conduct a test to see whether or not there's blue-green algae in your lake. Myself, if I was to use this in the classroom, I don't like to wait experiments, but blue-green algae is nasty. Uh, according to many reports, it actually has caused death in dogs. It's a neural disease. It's, um, it upsets your ner nervous system. Um, the, the video that I'm going to show you in the next segment I went into the water, but that section of Lake Kitchwick, although it was closed to the blue-green algae, there are three major lakes of Lake Kitchwick in Massachusetts. That particular lake did not have any blue-green algae in it. I'm also going to include in the bottom the entire lab, and if you'd like to have more detailed information, I'm going to include links to a further advanced lab. I want to thank you for watching this. If you like this, please, please hit the like button and the subscribe button. If you have any labs or anything that you'd like to have help with or any simple low-cost labs, please let me know. I think, I think, well, I believe that using labs in the classroom is probably the best thing you can do as far as a science teacher goes. Thank you again for viewing and in the next second, section you'll see me at Lake Kitchwick getting a water sample. I'm also going to include a picture so you can see what blue-green algae does look like if it's in the chat. Thank you and stay safe. This is Heidi. I own the store The Lesson Pony and Teacher Pay Teacher. Today I thought I'd talk to you about blue-green algae. This is a very simple lab to do and your students will learn about blue-green algae. As you can see, we have no swimming here. Blue-green algae is uh, very prominent this year in New England lakes and ponds because of the high, high heat we've had and we've had a tremendous amount of rain. The ways, there are three ways to tell if you have blue-green algae in your lake. The first, if you see blue-green algae floating on the top. The second is if you take a stick and put it into where the blue-green algae is located and lift it up. It looks like paint. The third is a lab that I'm going to show you how to do. I really sometimes recommend that you do this on your own and bring the samples to the students because blue-green algae is so bad. This, this particular part of the lake, we do not have a lot of blue-green algae, so I'm going to show you what to do. Take an empty jar and a lid. Go into the water and go just below the surface and fill your jar up about two thirds fill. Put the lid on the top and let it set. In 24 hours, you'll see if you have algae farming on the bottom. Thank you for viewing and have a nice day.